Hey everybody, Michael here, and I wanted to provide a bit of an update on what has happened in the last five days or so since I've released a video on this topic of the Flow Zero and a exploit that uses the Blu-ray disk drive in a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5. So you can kind of see over the last week or so how this story has unfolded with the question, will they reveal a PS5 jailbreak? We learned that yes, eight days ago, there was a jailbreak that was released, which is the user land jailbreak. And it was for PlayStation 4s and PlayStation 5s. And there was also a Hacker One notice that came out with all of that information. Um, I made another video where it was basically an FAQ for all of the different types of questions people were having in regards to what firmware was exploitable and so forth. Fast forward to six days ago, I showed a couple of applications such as Doom and Pong using Blue Play. Again, this is not the exploit, but this was just utilizing a technology called Blue Play. And then I showed you how you could test Blue Play without a Blu-ray burner on a PlayStation 3. And so we kind of left off with, we had Blue Play, but it wasn't the actual exploit. Fast forward to today, we have at least a couple of different tests that we can run that has the user land exploit in there. To help make sense of it all, I created a GitHub repo and included all of the files as well as a short description where you could understand what was going on. Okay, so starting with the GitHub repo that I created, you can actually scroll up and click on ISO images and you can find all of these different ISO images as well as the bin file and even the .zip file that I mentioned down in here. But let's just go ahead and go over it line by line. So the very first one was for Doom Blue Play. Again, this was not the exploit, but shows how you could use Blue Play on a number of different consoles from Xbox to PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. There's many videos floating around of this working on the PlayStation 4, but there was also this link right here, which was showing it working with the current Xbox One X. And so here they just started a Blu-ray disc. And once they start that disc, it will give them the option, this is for Doom, to start a single player game. And again, this is exactly what I showed you just a few days ago over on my own YouTube channel. So let's go back to the listing here. The next one was bd-jb.iso. And so this implementation, it just simply waits for a payload. And so if we look at this example by Echo Stretch, you can see that he has actually inserted this already into his PlayStation 4. And if we hit play here, he is using an application to send a payload. This is a payload called ret.bin, which you'll also find inside of my repo. And it just simply returns a hello world once you call it. So here it is. And at this point, there is the hello world that came back. Now, if you're wondering what application this is or which application you can use, one of them that I typically use has been just this one right here, which is just called PS4 Payload Sender. Now, I've got it pulled up right over here, but it's as simple as punching in an IP address, giving it a port, and then browsing for the payload, and then just sending the payload. So I just described that payload, which just returns the hello world. And then there is a brand new one here that is just called notify.bin that pops a notification box. Now, this one was created by Control Execute, and right here is what that looks like when you call it. It basically comes back and it says, hello world, greetings from BD-JB. Next up is taking a look at this one, which is just called bigboss.iso. This is Big Boss's implementation, and it just simply waits for a payload. 
again, we can jump over to Echo Stretch and we can see this is what that currently looks like. Now, one thing that you do have to do in order to be able to see the log that comes out of this is to be able to have your IP set for your PC to this IP that's just located right here. And so you may not want to do that simply because there is some networking that's involved in that. Uh, but basically, there is another image here, which is just called sample.iso, that it returns a file listing um, automatically without sending a payload. And that also can be found right here in the same video, which I will link to, where here is just listing out the different files that was found. And there is this minimum BD-J Java dev kit for PS3 that was originally linked to. And what you can do here is you can use this to create compatible BD-J images. Now, this is not using the exploit that is currently been released by the flow, but it's at least a way that you can start playing and testing with Blue Play Blu-ray disc. So a couple of other things to wrap up with here is, is that you can burn these ISO images using Image Burn. Image Burn is completely for free. If I come back over here, you can see this is the site. And so you just download it. You basically select the ISO image. And then after that, you just hit this burn button down at the bottom. Next up is, is that this question, this does not work with DVDs. There's a number of folks that have been asking about that. If we take a look at this tweet, you'll see this absolutely everywhere. And that is because this exploit is not for DVDs, but only for Blu-ray disc. Again, I mentioned the Xbox implementation, if you wanted to see that for Blue Play. And then again, here is the application that's used to send payloads. So this is currently where we are at with that. Uh, we're seeing that at least there's a way now to run the user land exploit that affects PlayStation 4s as well as PlayStation 5s. So things are getting really, really good. So stay tuned. We may be seeing more awesome things. It's been interesting watching what has happened, especially just over here, you know, from 12 days ago to where we're at today. So anyway, it's getting really good. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Michael, out!